Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to cover something since somebody made a really good point. They were saying, well, you're being critical, but do you ever think these are, like, geared towards little tiny kids that don't know anything about the games, and that's who they're really meant for? Well, that brings up an interesting point. Five Nights at Freddy's was never meant for little children. I don't care if kids play it. I don't care if your kids, your kids play it or your kid and you play it. But... Do you know what this tag says? I thought it was like a teen tag, like some of the older ones. It says three. Three years old. Do you want your three-year-old brother or sister or daughter or son or niece playing sister location? Do you want to have to clean up all that pee if they can manage to play it in the first place? <laughs> Seriously? Do you want to deal with the nightmares and everything else? There are adults that couldn't play these games. And to say that... Three years old is the demographic for this video game. It's just insulting in so many ways. Um, I know adults that just don't like the games because something jumps out at you and they just can't watch them. So it's not a thing of me being critical. That's my job as a reviewer, by the way, to be critical, to give you an honest opinion, not to just go, Oh my God, sister location! And, um... That's the difference between adult reviewers and kid reviewers. Kids just get really, really hyper because it's sister location. Oh my god, let's all scream and jump around and shout. And there's nothing wrong with that. But adults are coming from a different perspective, which children have to understand. For adults, we don't go to like mom and dad say, Oh my god, please, I need Ballora. Please, please, please. I don't even have my parents here anymore. So I can't go like, hey, mom, dad, can I get Ballora? Can I get this? Can I get that? I would have given you a totally different review if my parents were still here and like handing me an allowance. And, you know, and I was like getting handed all this free sister location sweat because mommy and daddy bought it for me. You would have got a totally different review. But as an adult, you know, um, unless you are Markiplier, you're taking money from somewhere else to buy your plushies. And you look at them and you're like, dang, I could have had like a steak dinner or I could have went out and done something nice and I bought like these plushies, seriously? And now I'm stuck with them? And I love Ballora, by the way. Don't think I don't love Ballora. But it's like, that's the difference in the reviews. Like kids, I remember being a kid. I remember getting to go, Mom, Dad, can I buy this? And, like, they would let you buy it, or they'd make you save your allowance up for it, or whatever. But usually, you know, it's totally different ballpark than an adult reviewing, because the adult's like, I could have paid the taxes that came in. I could have paid, like, started putting money together for a new roof. I could have done something else, and, ah! So, that's why adults seem harsh. And the person also said, uh, well... If they're meant for little kids, not that they were like saying, hey, old lady, get out of the fandom. If they're meant for little kids, little kids don't care. And little kids might not care, but that that's no excuse for an company to make a really shoddy product. Just because they're kids doesn't mean they don't deserve as high quality as you would make for adults. I mean, if you look at her stitching on the back, it's all messed up. They didn't even try. It's not even even. Like, with the first... Ones we could sit there and we could, like the first gen, we could talk about the stitching and how nice it was and how they put all this attention into it. Now, some people probably got some with sloppy stitching in the first gen. And this wasn't a thing where I had the mobility to go out to Hot Topic and look at 20 Baloras and pick out the best one. But still, that they're even making them in such a way that there are really sloppy ones and then there are decent ones and then there are great ones. You know, that's just they don't care about production. And the person also said, and I'm, I'm not making the video to be mean, I'm just making it to be a response video. Um, well, they have a lot of other stuff to do. This is their job, honey. This is their job. I have a lot of other stuff to do in my life too, but I don't make total crap videos on total crap fan games for you guys because I care about you guys, and I've always told you guys that. And I try to put quality into everything I do for you guys, and that's the difference between caring about what you do and not really caring. It's like Funko doesn't care at this point. I don't know why they branched out and made all this other stuff. Uh, nobody put a gun to their head and said, you have to make Sister Location, you have to make the FNAF stuff. I would have rather seen a company like McFarlane make them and make them twice as expensive even and 
have them high quality, have them game accurate. I would have rather paid for that product, which will never exist, than get okay products. That they do look like they were designed for little children. They don't look like they are designed for the adult target audience of Sister Location. I mean, would you seriously, seriously let a three-year-old play that game? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want them crying and upset and having nightmares and thinking, the, you know, the monsters are going to come out of the game and get them. They're three. They don't know yet. Um, you wouldn't let any anyone of any age that would be that terrified of the games watch them. I know adults that can't watch me play any games like Five Nights at Freddy's. They just can't do it. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. But that's what people have to understand. When adults are looking at something... It's like we sacrificed our own money for this. Mom and Dad didn't buy it for us. Um, I couldn't go to Mom and Dad and say, Hey, I would really like a sister location plushies to review on my channel. And I'm not like a huge channel. Nobody's sending me this stuff for anything. And that all does change how you review stuff. Yeah, if somebody had sent me these for free, yeah, I'd be excited and hyper. And nobody sent me these for free. I went out and bought them. No, I chose to go out and buy them, and that was fine. But I'm still disappointed in the quality. And remember, I got these on sale. I feel bad for people that paid full price or even worse went on eBay and paid like 25 bucks or something or more for them. Because I've seen them going on eBay for like crazy prices. And I'm like, I told you guys I wouldn't do that this time. And I would not do it. Won't do it in the future. And people were saying, well, um... Big figures are out in that. And I'm like, no, I've, I've had enough. They're getting su such bad quality that if little kids want to review them and be hyper and excited because it's something for sister location, that's fine. That's cool. But as an adult, as an adult collector, I'm like, no, it's just, it's getting a little too shoddy. And I had seen a collector, and I he's no longer around because, oh my God, he spoke badly of FNAF, but he had done... A review of the first um, generation of FNAF plush. And he hadn't liked them. He said he thought they he, collectors deserved better. He didn't even care what age they were. But as an adult collector and as a play toy, he said, you know, like, if you're going to play with it, like, all their noses were going to get scuffed up and, like, stuff could, like, possibly be torn off. So he was critical of them. And he made a lot of people mad, but he had a right to do that. And if this is my generation to get critical of them and say they could have done a lot better. It's like, I know, like, if you go into a store that, like, imports a lot of stuff from Japan, you might find dolls with, like, the same kind of stuff. But this isn't Japan. This is America. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, they should have stayed with better quality. I mean, her stitching's really messed up on the back. I don't know if you can tell that. It looks like a three-year-old stitched this. <laughs> like, the three-year-old target audience? A three-year-old stitched this somewhere. Um, and just, like, the excess material in the skirt and that. They, they, they dealt it in on these. I mean, it's like, we have them and this is all we have, and that's a shame. We should have gotten a choice from, like, a better company for them. Um... I didn't even get real hypercritical, but they didn't even use, like, the same stitching colors back here to finish her off. It's just, like, it's really sloppily done. And the same around the top of her bow. It looks like the material was pulled apart and then stitched back together, like, on the top of the bun. It's not, like, the same kind of um, color stitching as it is fabric. It's just, they dialed it in on these ones, and I'm sorry if it upsets people, but... Um, they really dialed it in on these these things because not even her printing up here, you see, it's not even the printing's perfect. And that does matter. It does matter for a collector and it should matter for kids too. Um, just because you're a kid doesn't mean someone should be able to make you junk and sell it to you just because, you know, you're a kid. You should have quality products that don't look like they fell apart already and got restitched at the factory. So that that's why, as an adult collector... I'm just, I'm not thrilled with them. They look like they've gotten cheap to the point where they no longer care and they're trying to, and I've sewed before, it's like they're trying to sew these dolls with less fabric than they know they need to save a couple cents here and there. It's like, I would have rather had these dolls be twice as expensive and be made better. Honestly, I would have. Um, if you love them, if you think it's the greatest generation ever, then, you know, great. I'm happy people are excited, but... 
I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. She she has like little old lady wrinkles back here. She has like little old lady wrinkles in front of her face. But Laura's not supposed to look older than me. But Laura, you know, but Laura's supposed to be like a young lady in the ballet and look graceful and beautiful. She's not supposed to look like old granny Ballora. <laughs> Poor Ballora. And I love them and everything, but they just, they've really gone down in quality. Uh, so, yeah. And reviewers are allowed to say when something's gone really down in quality. I'm, like, looking at her now, and I put her down, and, like, the more I look at her, the more I'm seeing, like, stuff they did wrong and bad stitches and everything. And that just, it drives me crazy. I mean, it felt like with the first gen, they took a lot more time. In second gen, they were getting up in detail. In this third gen, I truly, honestly expected them to surpass the first two generations and to be just filled with details. And she doesn't even have, like, a human-shaped head. Look at the head. Look at that head. She had a, you know, normal-looking head in the game. Look at her head. Seriously, Funko. Seriously? But, yeah, I know that will probably lose me subscribers, but honestly, guys, it is the difference. I'm being honest with you. If I had been able to go to a mom and dad and say, I want this, and have it handed to me, it would have been a lot cheerful, more cheerful review then. I spent my money on this, and I could have went out and got a steak dinner, and I'm looking at this. This is great. I would have rather had the steak dinner, you know, something like that. So there you go. That's that's probably the difference, a lot of the difference between adults and children. We, As adults, you get to spend your own money on it, and you don't have money for everything you want, which kids think you do, but you don't. And You can just think of the stuff that you didn't get to get that. And if you're working on allowance and you're only getting to buy what you have the money saved up for, then you kind of know what I mean. It's like, I bought this, and I could have bought something else. So it's the same thing. If you're on allowance, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe the more you think about it, the more you don't want it. I always remember my dad used to do a thing with us kids. Where if we saved up for it, we could have it. And the funny thing was, by the time you had the money for it, you didn't want it anymore. And by the way, guys, uh, people were asking me to go out and buy the big figures and everything. And I, I'm, I'm done with buying everything on the planet. I do still have some more stuff coming in. But I hear something weird. But I'm done with buying everything on the planet. And um, what is that? Hold on. I don't know what that is. Okay, but I'm done with buying everything on the planet just to review it. Um, I'm done. If I really genuinely like something and I'm excited for it, I'll buy it. But um, other than that, I'm done with buying stuff. So if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be honest with you guys because I respect you. I don't care if you're like 8 or 80. I respect you. And if I think something's junk, I'm going to tell you it's junk because I respect you as a human being. And I don't think you should just run out and buy stuff because it's... Uh, junky stuff just because it says it's been out for sister location or anything else right now compared to these I saw the uh, um, th the trailer for the new My Little Pony movie coming out in like October or November I'm like wow that looks like War and Peace compared to these plushies <laughs> it looks epic okay guys but if you like what you see like comment subscribe and I will see you later still love FNAF and everything you cannot like the plushies you cannot like the products uh, I've done this long enough that every generation I had someone just say they looked ugly, they liked Sanchi better. People don't even mention Sanchi anymore because Sanchi stopped quite a while ago. <laughs> and um, now Sanchi's bring out stuff and it looks like they're trying to imitate Funko and it's not working anywhere near as well. And yeah, it's like to each their own. If you love them, um, you're pumped for them and you think it's they're great. I'm happy for you, but you know, I just, I don't, I straight up don't like them. I think it could have done a lot better. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.